Good morning, everybody. I am Simran Preet, working as assistant professor in ISF College of Pharmacy, Moga. So today we will be performing a pharmaceutical organic chemistry practical that is uh, the determination of functional group present in organic compound. As we know that there are two types of analysis. First one is quantitative analysis and the next one is qualitative analysis. In this particular video we will be dealing with qualitative analysis since we will be finding out the type of functional group present in the organic compound. As we know that there are different functional groups in organic compound uh, like carboxylic acid, carbonyl groups, esters, ethers and so on. In this particular video we will be uh, performing test to determine carboxylic acid functional group. So for this we require the following chemicals. The requirements for this practical are blue litmus paper, sodium bicarbonate, ferric chloride solution, methyl alcohol and uh, concentrated sulfuric acid. This experiment consists of three steps. The first step is preliminary test. In preliminary test we examine the physical uh, state of the compound and in the next step we determine the functional group present in the given compound and in the third step we confirm the functional group present in the given compound. So we will start with the preliminary test. In the preliminary test we check the color odor of the organic compound. Firstly uh, by the color we come to know which co organic compound may be present. For example, we have beta naphthol. The color of beta naphthol is chocolatey brown. So by noticing the color, we can, we can get an idea which organic compound may be present. But most of the organic compounds are colorless. So no basic information is obtained from this step. The next step is the, uh, by checking the order. Dif as we know that different organic compounds have different odor. So on the basis of their odors, we can also get a clue about which organic compound may be present in the sample. And the next one is uh, ignition test. In ignition test, we basically check whether our compound is aliphatic or aromatic. In ignition test, we take a nickel spatula. On a nickel spatula, we put some organic compound and we put that on a neg flame. If we get a smoky flame, it indicates that the compound is aromatic in nature. If we get a non-smoky flame, then the compound is aliphatic in nature. And uh, the next step is detection of functional group present in the unknown com organic compound. For this, we start with the series. We start with some steps uh, which we will be performing. And uh, the last step will be confirmation of the organic compound by its melting point. As we know that melting point is the fingerprint of any organic compound. So through melting point by noticing, by determining the melting point of organic compound, we can confirm that we, uh, this particular organic compound we have in our sample. Make sure while performing experiment, you should be wearing lab coat and gloves. So the glassware required for this experiment are funnel, measuring cylinder, beakers and uh, dropper, glass rod and we will also be requiring a nickel spatula and test tube holder along with test tube and test tube stand. The reagents required for this practical are methanol, sulfuric acid, salicylic acid, ferric chloride solution and sodium bicarbonate. As you can see that the color of our organic compound is white. So no information can be drawn from the color. So the next is odor. Also our compound is odorless. So again no information can be drawn from its odor. Next we will be performing ignition test. For performing ignition test we will take a small amount of on our nickel spatula and we will take it near the flame. We have taken a small amount of organic sample on nickel spatula. Now we will take it near the flame. So we can observe that smoky flame has been produced. So this indicates that our compound is aromatic. 
Now we will be performing blue litmus test. For this, I will prepare solution of unknown sample in water. In water. So now I will be taking blue litmus paper. And this is our unknown sample. We can see that the color of blue litmus has been changed to red. This indicates that our compound is acidic in nature. Our compound can be carboxylic acid or it may contain phenolic group. Now to distinguish whether our compound contains carboxylic acid group or phenolic group, we will be performing test with sodium bicarbonate solution. For this, we will be taking the sample solution in the test tube. And to this solution, I will add 5% sodium bicarbonate. of carbon dioxide gas which clearly indicates that our unknown compound contains carboxylic acid functional group. Now to confirm our organic compound we will be performing further test. For this we will take a sample we will take our sample solution in the test tube and to this sample solution I will add one or two drops of ferric chloride solution. As you can see that there is a formation of a violet color which gives us an indication that our compound may be salicylic acid. Violet color in the test tube is due to the formation of ferric salicylate complex. Now we will be performing the next test. In this, te in this test I have taken a small amount of sample in a test tube. To this I will add 10 drops of sulfuric acid and 10 drops of methanol. the solution in 5 ml water. Ile salicylate has been formed in this beaker which is indicated by its fragrance. Salicylate is also known as oil of wintergreen. Now we will perform the last step which is confirmation of organic compound by its melting point by using melting point operators by the procedure which we have already discussed in the previous video the melting point has come out to be in the range 156 to 150 deg 158 degrees celsius which clearly indicates that our compound is salicylic acid 